Hello everybody, my name is Lucia, I am from Mexico and I'm going to tell you the story about how I've been migrating. When you migrate, uh, you realize how migration is really maybe not a new phenomenon, but it's something that is happening probably more constantly. I have migrated because of studies, because of law and because of work. When you migrate as a student, even though it's a very challenging thing to do, it is also quite interesting because you have the protection of an international university. Well, first of all, speaks to you in English, no matter where you go. Helps you with visa requirements, a hosting, everything on the preparation for your big travel. Once you are there, you also are surrounded by international students who have the same fears as you, who have the same questions. So the entire process, you are not really alone. Sometimes you feel alone, but you know that there's something you can rely on. And that was the, the, the really good part of being an, a migrant uh, as a student. During my last uh, migration in Belgium, I also met somebody. We started dating, we fall in love. However, like every study program, there is an end. However, we knew that we wanted to stay together. The question was where and how? Are we going to do it in Belgium? Are we going back to Mexico? And if we decide for either of these countries, how are we going to make it happen? Once that uh, my partner and I decided that it was going to be Belgium, it was not that easy. You need to figure it out how you're going to migrate to this country. And of course, there is a procedure to follow. It was not easy adapting to the life in Belgium, even though I knew the country, I knew it only in English as an international student in a university. Now, I didn't have any of that. I needed to learn Dutch. I needed to meet new people through going to the gym and joining a new class. I needed to take social integration courses. At first I thought, ah, what for? And then I realized the value this had. I realized when comparing with my migrations as a student and my migration because of love, it was a very difficult and different type of setting. After going through the challenge of becoming a resident, we were very happy because we got married and we got our life in Belgium. I felt like this is my country. I feel it every day more at home. And after five years living in Belgium, we suddenly got the news that Matthias got a job opportunity in Singapore. So this time meant another migration another integration in another continent. For the third migration, work, it was a really interesting experience as well. It was a new continent, a new country this time for both of us. The company was actually very nice, uh, helping us with all the different visa requirements and processes you also need to do prior coming to the country. For the work aspect, there is support, but also there's a lot you need to find out. Uh, you need to make new friends, you need to reestablish yourself in the new country, you need to find uh, a place to stay, uh, things to do. Perhaps it was not as good as how a university take care of you, but not as difficult as migrating because of love. In this case, with work, you still have some sort of support. I also realized that I felt more secure of myself migrating to another country. Meanwhile, maybe my partner felt like, oh, this might be a new territory in a way. I, I felt like I could support him better knowing the experience I went. Plus, it's an advantage that now I was not the only migrant. It was now two migrants in a completely different setting. In my case, I thought I was only going to be migrating because of studies. I ended up doing it for other reasons as well. Sometimes it's in your power, sometimes it's not, sometimes it's a good news and sometimes it's something that you're giving up. It doesn't matter the reason. The idea is that we need to accept that sometimes people move and migration can be something so natural as life itself.